Abu Ismail says his life under the YPG terror group in northern Syria was unbearable. At the start of the revolution, we tried to keep away from them and not have any problems. But the YPG didn't accept anyone from Afrin joining the Free Syrian Army and joining the revolution. This was a crime against the people of Afrin. And they didn't accept anyone who wanted to go out and fight against the Assad regime. They put me in their prisons twice because of this. A U.S. intelligence report says the YPG, a group Washington supports, doesn't share political or military leadership positions with Arabs like Abu Ismail. It's something he experienced firsthand. The Arabs aren't given any role whatsoever. All of the decision-making positions are filled by Kurds and 90% of them are from the Kandil Mountains or from outside Syria. There were very few commanders originally from Syria or from Afrin. Arabs aren't the only ones treated poorly by the terror group. Kurds like Nabih Taha fought against the YPG in Afrin because he says it doesn't tolerate independent thinking. They burn their crops and forcefully displace the Arabs. They even forcefully displace the Kurds who are opposed to them. Anyone who doesn't accept their ideas becomes their enemy and they force them out of their homes. The U.S. intelligence report says the YPG is also using force to recruit Arabs into its ranks. The training often includes the Marxist-Leninist teachings of the terror group's jailed founder, Abdullah Ojalan. Nabi is head of the Kurdish Tribal Council, and many people reach out to him for advice and support on how to resist the YPG. He says people living under the Syrian branch of the PKK terror group east of the Euphrates River are not happy. Many poor and desperate people joined the YPG and PKK because they were desperate and didn't have any other option. And the United States is the one that decided to support the terror group. The YPG and PKK never had any local support in our areas. They were only made stronger by the support they received from the United States. YPG terrorists continue to attack Afrin after they've been pushed out of the region. And for Nabi, those attacks are a reminder of why he continues to fight them. Obaidahito, TRT World.